So we're now going to install the x-axis on the PM25 milling machine and that's the way the x-axis comes once you unpack it and it really is pretty easy we're just going to uh, bolt it with the two M6 bolts uh, line it up there's only one direction that's adjustable unless you want to have, uh, need to shim it and then we'll put the table on and do a simple check of motion and that'll be it. So the first thing we're going to do is take the coupler off just to make room to get the uh, table on and then we'll set the screw on there. Now, if you, the screw can mount either way, so if you want to be motor on the left, just put the side of the coupler on the left or the right. In my case, I want it on the right. The kit comes with all the bolts that you need. Just like the other on the y-axis, you want to have your get strip preset so it holds the table square, but you can still slide it by hand. That way you can align the table up without it sagging too much. So I'm going to leave one screw a little more snug than the other so I can have a little bit of rock and I'm going to set it square with the calibers. says it's straight. Now the grease zerk on this faces straight up toward the table. If you want to be able to grease it without taking the table off, you'll have to get an elbow. Or oil lines. There's lots of stuff you can do as far as oiling. I'm going to probably just put an elbow on it. So it sticks out here so I can hit with the grease gun. Some people like grease, some people like oil. So it's snugged up and square. We're going to put the table on. I really like the table on this mill. Um, now they have a newer table so I'm not sure what the new one's like. But this table is fantastic. It has a great finish on it. It's thicker than the G704 table. It's really quite a nice table. You don't need to mill a pocket on this one like the 704, the kit's a direct bolt-on. You can really be done with it in one day if you have all your parts and your stepper motors run. So my grip strip is already set. Okay, that's easy enough. And we have two M6 bolts.
Okay, so that's done. And then we'll put the coupler on. Now the coupler doesn't quite go underneath the table, so and you don't want it to. This it has a the end plate has a one inch spacer that sets out, so you can bring the coupler out a little bit. And really it lines up on the motor, which is not installed yet, so you don't need to torque these down too much. You can go quick before you put the end on, you can run the table back and forth, see if you have any binding. This one actually, I already checked, it's perfect. For now, I guess if I want to, I'm going to go ahead and set a motor on here so I can set this plate because the next thing I want to do later on down the road is uh, put the motors on it. So I'll grab a stepper right here. You locate off of the center of the coupler. So the one thing you don't want to do necessarily is uh, let all the weight hang on this. So we'll turn this up. I'm going to just do two bolts on the top at first. So it looks like it's already lined up good enough. The stepper is not hooked to the controller, so it won't run. And you go underneath and tighten the coupler. In my case, I just want to check to get this end plate squared. And then I'll tighten it down. Okay, that's it for the x-axis.